high school big matchup tonight. In the end, WOAL is the last team left unbeaten. In league plays made the trip from Henry County as the Patriots match Henry have come to Wauseon to face the Indians. Hello again, everyone, alongside my partner, Miles Holliday. I'm Randy Roberts. And uh, partner, last week we talked about the Green Meadows Conference. We saw a game we thought maybe would help separate how the uh, conference race would go there. Hoping maybe the same thing will happen tonight as we shift our focus to the NWOAL. Well, first of all, always great to be hanging out watching basketball with the mayor of Northwest Ohio, Randy Roberts. And a game like this, partner, this is a huge must win for Wasiata if they're going to stay in this race. And where else would you rather be right here, right now, than watching the league leader and Patrick Henry trying to fend off a tough Wasiata team? Now, making the turn tonight would be the halfway point, just one time through the NWOAL. So seven conference games. You see PH at 3-0, chased by three teams at 2-1. Wasiata alongside Delta and Archibald. Delta just handed Archibald its lone league loss by a 14-point margin a week ago. So hoping to get things situated here as we go into the final three, four weeks of the season. Yeah, early in the year we were talking to Joe Frank at Archibald. And he said it's the strangest year in the NWAL that he can remember because on any single night, the eighth seed, seventh seed could beat the one or two. It doesn't really matter. It's so balanced this year. And this is a Wasian team. They got their loss by Swanton in the game that they were in until the very end. If you took a look at the schedules of both teams at night between Patrick Henry and Wasian, you would have to give the edge to Wasian on strength of schedule. Now, that, will that translate here tonight? Well, we'll find out. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Indians of Wasian who come in at 9 and 7 overall. Miles mentioned a one league loss of 2 and 1 in conference play. You see the starting lineup there under head coach Chad Burt. Landon Hines does a little bit of everything for the Indians 13 and a half points, nearly eight, or I'm sorry, nine rebounds per game, and this is a Wasion team that Coach Burt hopes is playing its best basketball right now. Snapped a three-game losing streak with a double win weekend last weekend, getting an NWOAL win at Evergreen, 51-37, and then getting, would you say, by far their most impressive win of the year? Oh, absolutely. Beating a really good Rossford team, 53-41 last Saturday. Yeah, remember Rossford's the one that gave Defiance their only loss of the year. Have a big time recruit going to Indiana State and Mr. Borst. They are a legit team. Getting that win, that might be one of those things that springs board, springboard you into the second half of the season, having a lot more success because you beat a team like that, boy, your confidence sure does grow. And of course, with uh, the way that the uh, seeding works now with it being down to the RPI count, mm -hmm. obviously that's going to be a uh, big game uh, for Wasion's resume, tournament draws. For the boys, they'll know their assignments uh, about uh, a week and what, about nine days from now. It's Next coming Sunday, up quick. The, the girls will have theirs this uh, coming Sunday, but uh, a pretty impressive win for Wasion trying to build off that here tonight. Yeah, you referenced Landon Hines. He is the guy that has to have a big night tonight. Not only is he a great shooter, great rebounder, great scorer, but partner, he's a facilitator as well, averaging three assists a game. Also a good defender, gets a block. He's going to have to have a really huge night for them and get some help from guys like Jack Leatherman at eight points and Tyson Rodriguez, a guy we know really well, tremendous football player. He's about 11 points a game night. If this is a low-scoring affair, I like Wasion's chances. All right, Miles, let's talk a little bit about the Patriots of Patrick Henry and the turnaround that they have had this year coming in at 13-2 overall. Last team left unbeaten in the NWOAL at 3-0. Getting a league win last week against Bryant. Didn't come at a cost. Top scorer Lincoln Krieger did get a little banged up. Uh, I think he went hit heads, had a head injury. Played very sparingly. Did not play in the one-point loss the following night uh, to Antwerp at home. But uh, we have been told we expect him in the starting lineup tonight for the Patriots. Yeah, I think Coach Billman at Antwerp last Saturday said, oh, Krieger's not playing? Darn. <laughs> he had to have been happy coming off that loss against Wayne Trace. But at the same time, Lincoln Krieger is going to play tonight. Had a loose ball situation where he hit his head, had concussion protocol, practiced on Thursday. He's cleared to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach uh, Heber said there's no problems with him. Looked good at practice. That's a huge bonus. 13 points a game, four rebounds, two steals. Don't think that he's the only guy that can score for this team. It's a really odd mix where on any single night, one guy can score 15, one guy can score 20. Nash Meyer, big time score. It's a real balanced team that shares the basketball really well. And a lot of young guys in this uh, PH lineup. Yeah, you mentioned Nash Meyer, nine and a half points. 
I look at my notes, I see that he's had a 20 point and a 19 point night. Matt Kieber, a freshman, son of head right. coach Brian Heber, who by the way, I, if genetics means anything, oh, all he was was all Ohio. So we'll see what Mac has in store. Was inserted into the starting lineup uh, last Saturday because of the injury to Lincoln Krieger. By the way, he scored 20 points twice this year. Averages, what, 8.8, three rebounds. You got Aiden Bierman, and it's all led by Landon Johnson. Three assists to run this PH uh, team. And they'll play about nine, 10 guys. And I think their chance against Wauseon is to use their depth against the Wauseon team that at most will probably see seven guys go tonight. Yeah, uh, I talked to Coach Bird about it. I said, how deep are you going tonight? He goes, six. If I got to go seven, I don't like it. He goes, so I'm going to go about six unless he has to. Yeah, you're right, partner. Patrick Henry can go a little bit deeper in the bench and for, force tempo a little bit. If they force tempo, get it going, game going up and down a little bit, that is going to force Wasiana turnovers. Wasiana prone to turnovers. They're not a great shooting team as well. Bad recipe for them. Patrick Henry shares the ball really well, averages 16 assists, assists a game between all of them. Hey, before we get any deeper into our night, we want to tell you that our pregame sponsor for tonight's broadcast between Wasion and Patrick Henry is the State Bank. Invest in the Northwest of West Central Ohio with skilled objective and caring financial planners. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll take a look at those State Bank checks of the game when we return here to Wasion. Robert Smiles Holiday back with you here in Owasian as we inch closer to the start this big matchup between the Indians and the Patriots with control of the NWOAL on the line. It's time now to take a look at our State Bank checks to the game or checks to the game. Uh, sponsored tonight is the State Bank. Invested in Northwest and West Central Ohio. Skilled objective in carrying financial planners. All right, partner, let's start with the visiting Patriots of Patrick Henry. Yeah, number one, pack it in and rebound. Pack it in because uh, Wasion only shoots and makes it at 29% from behind the arc. Make them hit threes. We always know Wasion a great rebounding team. Let them have errant shots, but go ahead and rebound. Number two, state balance. I don't think they'll have a problem with this partner because they have been a balanced team all year long. They share the ball really well. Not let one guy take a majority of the shot. Find the open guy, let him make it. And then number three, find mismatches. They're gonna have a tough time, Wasion that is, matching up especially on the post. They have Jude Armstrong at six foot. He's gonna be guarding one of the low blocks tonight. If he gets a guy on the low block, try to get the ball on whoever's He's defending, try to get the ball to him, let him score. And right, let's take a look at the checks to the game for the homestanding Wasion Indians. Outwork everyone. Look, there's the record of Patrick Henry's better. They might have more talent, they might be deeper, but that doesn't mean you can't outwork them. If they outwork them, play harder, they might win this game. Number two, front, back, inside to side. You're gonna, are you making dance moves? <laughs> What's right. going on here? You're going to have to swing the ball front, back, and side to side, moving around because Patrick Henry is real concerned about what's going to go on on the low block with Landon Hines. Make sure you are moving the ball so you can get the ball to the low post. And then number three, use Hines before you have to catch up. Landon Hines, he is their best scorer. 14 points a game, nine rebounds. Folks, he has done it against all kinds of big men. He can score against anyone. Do not forget about him early in this game. I just want everyone to know we're going to pull back the curtain a little bit. Anyone who doesn't know Miles Holiday <laughs> will learn everything they need to know by those three checks. Anything you know, need to know about Miles. My peeps. My peeps oh. are out there. A little pro wrestling, a little catch up, a little dancing. <laughs> everything with Miles Holiday involved in our state bank checks in the game. <laughs> Looking forward to what should be a good one. Nice crowd is filled in. We were a little concerned about what the uh, weather would do to the Patrick Henry faithful, but uh, Wauseon High School Arena has filled up. As this one is underway, Patrick Henry wins the tip. Patrick Henry in the red with white numerals. Wauseon the opposite, white with red numerals. Quick three off to start, top of the key. That one's gonna be no good. Rebound, it's knocked into the hands of Jack Leatherman and the Indians come away with the basketball. I see Lincoln Krieger trying to get himself going early. Had the three at the top of the key, took it. A little bit awry. Good rebound by Wasiana to get things started. See our scoreboard tonight, sponsored by Charles River and Spencerville. And the first points on that scoreboard are gonna come thanks to Tyson Rodriguez and a move inside. Now Rodriguez just uses his upper body strength. Good drop step and power dribble. And of course, a little smooch off the window. 
He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Rodriguez, 35 of 47 on the year from the free throw line. Sets, and one will rim out. And the rebound out to Drew Rosengarten. So 2-0 to get our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Patriots with the basketball, looking for their first points of the night. Just underway, just a minute in here from Wauseon. Now Wauseon, man to man, partner. Well, it looks like they're gonna switch out top. That way they don't get tardy on shooters. Meyer in the corner, has the basketball. Gets a screen, steps back, fires away, left that one short. And a second rebound grab by the Indians. Fortuitous bounce into the hands of Jude Armstrong. Now, Chad Burt's gotta be excited defensively. Two possessions for Patrick Henry, two errant threes. Hines, a nice turnaround look inside. He's able to put that up and in. And quickly the Indians with the early 4-0 lead. Yeah, great drop step towards the baseline. Got separation and buried it. We mentioned this a couple of times in our pregame. Patrick Henry at 13-2. One of those losses came to the hands of Antwerp Saturday night, snapped a six game win streak. Other one came to Napoleon over the holiday season and a tie up on a dribble drive. Arrow will favor the Indians and it's a turnover. Now early in this game, our, our number one key for Wauseon outwork everyone That is fortuitous because they are absolutely outworking Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry going to the pressure early though. Try to change things up. Indians a little trouble getting the ball into the front court as Miles had said. Thanks to that pressure, they'll get across. Here's Rodriguez. Wanted either a screen or to someone come and get the basketball. It's the lob inside. Hines trying to back away from his defender, but it's gonna be swatted away. Nash Meyer comes away with it. Yeah, tremendous hands by Meyer to get the steal. Meyer, the quarterback, part of the great PH football season with a drive all the way to the hoop, and that's the first score tonight for the Patriots. Now, how about that? Good defense leads to good offense. Nash Meyer, good defensively, better on offense. Trying to get the lob inside again to Hines. That one is going to be intercepted, and the Patriots move in transition. Here's Landon Johnson, and now foul coming away from the basketball. And it looks like this is going to go on Rodriguez of Wauseon. Yeah, Rodriguez just a little off balance. Tried to reach right in front of the official. Good call by the official. PH will do the inbounding. Off the screen, here's Meyer. Meyer being hounded defensively by Leatherman. Corner three, that one up and good. A big bucket, Aiden Beerman. That's a big shot for Aiden Beerman. 21% from behind the arc on the year. 100% that time. Patriots lead for the first time tonight. Hines able to match on the other end. I'm sorry, it's Trey Parsons. 34, not 24. Noticeable size difference, should have been able to tell. Tough runner inside is no good. Hines comes away with that one. Now Hines knew that you'd stumbled on that one, so he got the rebound for you. Parsons looking for his second. That one's gonna be up no good. Rebound is saved from going out of bounds. Patch Henry able to come away with it. Looked like it was gonna be deflected out and then hit the bottom side of the backboard. Head coach Chad Burt with one of the officials running by having conversation now working with the second one. This little spin move inside and now we have a foul on the rebound. Well, if they're going to call it this tight on the inside, that's going to really help Wasian out because I think this is just two big guys going for the rebound. They're going to say Rosengarten was over top, but boy, very little contact there. Two guys going at it, working hard. First one on Rosengarten. Is his first team second? Wasian brings the ball into the front court. Good camera shot next to to us here on the baseline. Yeah, we got a great vantage point here tonight, don't we? Wasion works it side to side. Leatherman with the spin out to Parsons. We're so close to the court. I'm worried that Coach Burt's going to put us in. An offensive rebound. The put back up and good out of Jack Leatherman. Yeah, Leatherman's giving them some consistent offense all year long. Eight points a game. That time just hanging around the basket. Gets the offensive rebound, puts it in. Well, give and go with Nash Meyer. He's cut off on the baseline. Wasion with nine points. Four different players have scored already. Johnson trying to get inside, little baby hook. Gets a little help from the heel of the iron. Yeah, Gavin Jackson, the spark plug when he comes in, so quick. 
Two assists a game that time. The little baby hook, as you called it, gets first points at the basket. Puts the Patriots back down by two. There's the backdoor cut as Leatherman left open. Able to get the dish and put it up and in. A great find. Sleepwalking defense by Patrick Henry. Backdoor cut, nobody there. Leatherman takes advantage. 11-7, Patrick Henry tried to do its second with Jackson. It's no good, but the putback's gonna be up and good. And a quick timeout, it looks like Patrick Henry wanted one off the inbounds. Quick timeout on the floor, we'll step aside here. 304 in the opening quarter, Wasion with the early lead. Patrick Henry talking about defense a little bit, got a bucket, took a quick timeout. Now 11-9, you see our Charles River scoreboard, three minutes and counting left to go here in quarter number one. Now run and jump by Patrick Henry, allows Rodriguez to get free. And allowed him to take a full second or two to get set. Good looking three pointer, doesn't go, and Meyer with it, comes into the front court, no one picks him up. He's gonna drive, they're gonna wave off the basket. A little contact in the lane. Oh, what a smart play by Nash Meyer. Nobody picks you up, nobody stops the ball. What's the most important thing on the floor? The ball is, right? Nobody picks you up, so just take it to the hole. A little miscommunication by Wasiana and who had Meyer for the assignment. Jack Leatherman with the foul, his first team second. Let's shoot the inbound back out to Meyer. It's Patriots trying to get set on offense here. Gavin Jackson. Jackson drives all the way to the baseline. He'll just back up his defender. Couldn't get it off the window, and Hines comes in for the rebound. Uh, another fantastic rebound by Hines. Jackson thought he had it, just a little too strong. Leatherman with the handoff. Over to Jude Armstrong. They swing it around to that right wing again, working into the baseline cutter. Good spin move. I believe that was. Rodriguez couldn't get it, but a nice save underneath. Hines trying to bank it in a little too strong. And Patrick Henry will limit that as they come away with a miss. Now Patrick Henry did a good job with Hines, pushing him off the block just enough to make him uncomfortable. Meyer nearly had the ball tied up. Long two in the corner right in front of us is no good. And the rebound pulled down by Armstrong as Wasien will get it. Now they'll slow up the pace. This one might be a little quicker maybe than both teams want. Nice. Still Changing the set, Coach Burt gets the attention of Rodriguez and change up the offensive tempo. Still 11-9 here with under a minute and a half to go in our opening quarter. Contact beginning on the dribble drive. That's gonna lead to a foul. This one's gonna go against Gavin Jackson. Yeah, we're gonna see a little Cobra Kai defense right here. Sweep the lake, Johnny, right there. That's unfortunate, just lose your balance. Might be a little wet floor spot down there, but it's still gonna result in a foul and nonetheless. First one on Gavin Jackson. Officials are going to let things play on. Wasion able to inbound the basketball, going right inside. Good drive there by Leatherman. Couldn't get it to go, but it looks like he's going to get a couple of free throws. Now, Leatherman's been very impressive early in this basketball game. A couple of buckets already. That time, knowing the situation, he's going to get fouled. So he throw it up at the rim. A little NBA flavor for you. And Jack Leatherman, he didn't sleep in. He's, he's been ready to go tonight. You wonder if Patrick Henry, who didn't have school today, is a little sleepy. I know Coach E were talking to him. He was a little worried that his kids might sleep in. Can you imagine that? High school kids oh, sleeping no. late. Oh, terrible. To like 12, 1 o'clock. Can you imagine that? That doesn't happen, does it? No. Leatherman able to get the first free throw. PH foul, by the way, on Matt Heber. That is his first already. The fourth whistled against the Patriots. As uh, Leatherman, who has gone 27 of 30 from the free throw line, Calmly makes both of them and extends that Indian lead back to four. A little pressure employed now by Wasian. Those who press don't like to be pressed. He's trying a little run and jump defense and on a ball fake, Thomas Smith, who had some extended minutes last weekend, will just lose the handle here. Yeah, it gets a little too cute. Fake the pass outside, then go for the layup. Does everything well except for takes the ball with him. So with uh, Lincoln Krieger not playing, Last Saturday, it was Thomas Smith who got some extended minutes. Matt Heber in the lineup. It's a baseline look that just doesn't go for the Indians. Heber with it. He'll spin, gets rid of it. Patriots reset the offense here. Back into the hands of Jackson. Jackson back to the wing for Smith again. 
Smith picks up his dribble, has to get rid of it. Ends up Heber, it'll give him the three, and it's up and good. Well, I'll make Dad's dad proud, won't it? Just like I used to shoot at Sun. Release, rotation, and splash for the Heber family. Five different Patriots already in the scoring column. We're down to a one-point lead for the Indians. They'll hold for the final shot of the quarter. Now, one four set. Don't be surprised if this comes back to Hines on the low block. Well, give and go with Elijah McLeod. He's able to draw the foul. Nice little show and go move there. Yeah, a little old school, right? Fake the handoff at the top of the key, turn and go. McLeod, as we've seen in football in years past, a tremendous athlete. One of those guys that are waiting for to finally put it together because he can score, and then when he wants to defend, he's as good as anybody. First toss. Adam McLeod is going to be good. 24 of 42 from the line, but no trouble with that one. See what the Patriots can do with the final 4.2 seconds of the quarter. Second one up and good as well. Inbound comes in, Jackson from half court. Gets it off the backboard, but that'll do it. A very entertaining opening quarter in the books. The Indians lead this one by three, and we'll be back here on WOSN. 15-12, Wasion would lead over Patrick Henry after a one quarter of play on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Patriots with a basketball. Going to Lincoln Krieger. Krieger with a kick out for Meyer. Meyer tried it, thought about the step through, and it sets the screen for Krieger. Yeah, great defense by Parsons. Hedged on that screen by Meyer. Really snorted out that defense offensive set by Patrick Henry. Indians able to knock that one free. They'll come away with a turnover. Here's Hines playing at the perimeter. He'll get it over to Trey Parsons. Now to Rodriguez who holds high. Rodriguez get a little flashy about that show and go. Doesn't get it to go. And a good move, Drew Rosengard. Doesn't even have to leave his feet to come away with a rebound. I think Rodriguez even surprised himself, right? Got himself free with a great move, just couldn't finish. Patriots with a basketball once again. A minute gone by here in quarter number two. Nash Meyer back at the ball in his hands, now to Rosengarten. A little extra mustard on the entry pass down to the low block. They're trying to get Johnson with a clear out. Back to Meyer, gets his defender in the air. Little runner doesn't go. Rebound's going to be saved from going out of bounds right into the hands of Hines. A heady play by Rodriguez to save it. Also a stayed possession with Patrick Henry. Got it back to his buddy Hines to keep possession. Indians with a basketball. Over Parsons at the wing, now McLeod. Send it into the corner, Rodriguez. High arcing three, just drops it right through the cylinder. A little tray tray action for Rodriguez from downtown, Wasion. Tyson Rodriguez now with five, extends the Indian lead to the biggest of the night at six. Rosengart going inside against Hines, picks up his dribble. Didn't like what he saw in the corner, saw the little wave off. Trying to get the pass back out. A little double team inside is Krieger, able to break free and scores for the first time tonight. Now you got to credit Rosengarten for not taking the shot, right? Nobody was, it wasn't comfortable. The defense has stayed in front of him. Hines was there, so kick it back out. Never wrong when you get the ball back to Krieger. Indian lead back to four in our Charles River scoreboard. Yeah, another changing defense by Patrick Henry. Zoning it up, and it's going to lead to a charge. Well, trying to go chest to chest. Hines with a little bit of the shrug afterwards, walking down court as we take a look at the replay. And Hines right now. Oh. A little acting going on there. Acting class at Patrick Henry paying off, but the contact was initiated by Hines. So I'm going to say charge. Thank you very much. Patriots come away with the basketball, trying to eat into that four-point lead. Landon Johnson with it, top of the key, trying to go one-on-one -on -one with McLeod. Three ball from the wing on the way, no good. Nice job by Hines. Come away with a miss. Out to Rodriguez, trying to push. Now he'll back up, reset the offense. 
Rodriguez, another high archer. That one is going to be off the mark. Trying to high point it like an interception was Aiden Beerman. Yeah, this is all the way from the logo on the side. Rodriguez almost hit the roof with that one. They're going to say it was a foul. You think tomorrow in film, Rodriguez is going to say, that Coach, that was a pass. They run the backdoor alley-oop. Jack Leatherman guilty of the foul. They're saying a little bit of a forearm into the back of Bearman. That is the fourth whistle on the Indians. PH with the basketball. It's so tough to get any action going through the key with Wasion. They do such a great job of bumping cutters and switching. You never get them on your backside. So instead, they'll go for three, and Nash Meyer able to knock it down. And Nash Meyer, big time shooter, make big time shots, big time moments. Nash Meyer, you're big time. Meyer up to five, does cut the lead to one. We'll get it on our Charles River scoreboard, having some issues with the scoreboard here at the Wasion as the score didn't go on right away. Isn't technology great, folks? Technology's great when it works. Rodriguez thought about driving inside, saw the collapsing defense, instead the kick out, and the corner three good out of Elijah McLeod. Elijah McLeod, he can fill it up. About eight points a game, comes off the bench and gives him a little bit of lift. Not tonight, giving him a huge lift. Just when Patch Henry's feeling good, having that six point lead down to one, it's pushed back out to four. And now back down to one as Krieger gets involved and scores. And another timeout taken by the Patriots. Oh, God. Lincoln Krieger said, my head feels good. My hand feels even better. Another three ball for Lincoln. So 21 20 timeout on the floor. We'll take a break here from Wasion. What a good one we've had so far here. Very entertaining first half of basketball, 21 20. That's Miles. I'm Randy. Good to be with everyone here at Wasion High School. That was Mr. Leatherman behind us, too, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Man, you said nice things about his son, and he got a little TV time. I don't know what more he could want from us. Always great when uh, our producer, Ken Reeker, surprises us with the announcer cam shot. Thanks, Ken. And Rodriguez trying to go baseline, but that one's going to be knocked away. He's Aiden Behrman disrupting things along the baseline for the Patriots. It's Patrick Henry comes away with the basketball, looking for their first lead in a while. And Wasion's done such a good job of making Patrick Henry earn everything out of possession. No free ones on fast break opportunities. Meyer thought about the corner three, instead gets rid of the basketball. Landon Johnson with it once again, back to Meyer. Meyer, that quick trigger, we see it on display there. Try to bank it in, and now we'll have a little push under the basket, an offensive foul going against Patrick Henry. Now we're gonna get Beerman trying to go over to back of Hines. Oh, we'd heard what a great player Hines is, especially offensive and defensive rebounds. I would say yes, this is true, right? He's been a man underneath the boards tonight for Wasion. PH foul on Caden Rosebrook. That's going to be his first. Sixth on the Patriots. So the next one puts the Indians in the bonus for the final two and a half minutes of the opening half. Rodriguez, a little chase defense as he gets free inside and he's able to score. Yeah, shows off a little bit of athletic ability hanging in the air. Rodriguez makes that one a 34% shooter, but not when he hangs in the air like that, 100%. He's got seven, tough fall away of the baseline, no good by Krieger. See, uh, you can hear a little bit of a hush. Krieger hit the deck by the PH fans behind him, but he's up and able to continue. And we'll get a whistle, and we're gonna have a foul along the baseline. This is gonna be on Patrick Henry, and they're gonna try to get the officials' attention. That is gonna send the Indians to the bonus. You saw on your screen there, a little bit of a push, a push off from McLeod. So when everyone heard the whistle, I think they naturally thought it was gonna be offensive. Yeah, curious call. Could have went to either guy, really. A lot of times officials will say, let that play on. So instead, Elijah McLeod is going to go shoot the one and one for the first free throws up and good. McLeod, just a 57% free throw shooter, but doesn't look like it. He has been spot on so far. Yeah, perfect four for four so far tonight. That lead back to five. Two minutes to go on our Charles River scoreboard. A very quickly paced and very entertaining first half of basketball. 
failed to mention in our pregame, this meeting, by the way, the 56th all time between these two, and we're gonna have a hold right in front of us on Landon Hines. Now the thing is, you're gonna see it right here. Hines doesn't need to do this. He's got great position, stays on the floor. He's gonna take away the baseline. Don't get handsy. And he does though, and it's gonna cost him the foul. Had Rosenbrook sealed off. Didn't need to get it handsy. Got his hand caught in the cookie jar. It's gonna be the second on, on Hines. And now Patriot foul off the miss. We'll have Wasion shooting at least one free throw. Now, if you're Coach Chad Burt, you bring Hines out and just let him sit the rest of the half, or you try to play offense defense with 140. I think you're up by five, you kind of go with it till half, right? I would think so. That's what I would do. Tyson Rodriguez is 35 of 47 at the line. We'll shoot the one and one as the PH fouls on Caden Rosebrook. That is his second. Saw Mac Heber return to the lineup for the Patriots. As the free throw, no good. Jackson Henry with a chance here. Getting inside Jackson, the ball's gonna be taken away. First real fast break we've had of the night, and that one's gonna be stopped on the other end by the offensive rebound. McLeod a little problem getting up. Wasion was playing four on five for a while. Rodriguez three, that one's gonna be well off the mark. Parsons keeps it alive with the offensive rebound. McLeod for three, that one hits the front of the iron. Long rebound to Rodriguez. It's gonna work his way inside and he's gonna draw the foul. Outwork everyone. That's what Wasion's doing. Look at this possession saved by Parsons. McLeod has a shot. It's not gonna matter, it doesn't go in because they're gonna dig it out again. Long rebound, Rodriguez go get it. You know why? Because we outwork everyone. Great effort by the Indians. Does he get away with a travel right here? No, he's hit on the arm. Now, if I'm Patrick Just Henry, like, how do you know he was shooting? The ball didn't go anywhere. So why is he at the free throw line? He's also able to cash in with the first free throw, so it extends the lead back to six with a minute and 10 before halftime. They see a little bit of the frustration on Patrick Henry. Guys leaving the floor going to the bench, kind of shaking their head. I don't think they uh, thought it'd be a six point advantage this late in the first half for Wasiano. Second free throw, no good. Thomas Smith come away with a miss. Patriots with it under a minute to go in our opening half here in our Charles Rivers scoreboard. Handoff for Jackson, he'll get rid of it. Work it back around to Smith. Gonna reset the Patriots may try to run this final minute off the clock here and get one possession. Johnson and Jackson playing a little two-man game. Now Smith getting involved. To Johnson. Johnson in the paint, forces up a shot. Wanted a call with a little bit of contact, didn't get it. Now the Indians will have 20 seconds or so to add on to their lead. Yeah, I didn't like that possession at all because if you're gonna run it down, run it all the way down, right? You take an errant shot, now you're gonna let Wastiana have an opportunity to extend the lead, maybe nine, at least eight, if they make a basket going into half. Here's McLeod at eight to Rodriguez. Rodriguez steps back, thought about shooting from the free throw line, takes on two defenders, and this time he will be called for the travel. Now Rodriguez gets a little fancy, through the legs, a little dipsy do, a little hesitation dribble, hop step. Well, he got away with one earlier. Not sure that one should have been called. It's Patrick Henry with three seconds left. Let's fly from three quarter court. It's no good. And that's how our first half will end. Good half of basketball here from Wasion. Indians with a 26 20 lead at the half will step aside here on WOSN. Halftime here from Wasion, where the homestanding Indians lead Patrick Henry 26 20. All Wasion's trying to do is create a little chaos in the NWOAL league race. Wasion win here tonight would guarantee that the league champion from the Northwest Ohio Athletic League would have at least one league loss. Let's take a look at some halftime stats and adjustments. They are sponsored by the State Bank, invested in Northwest and West Central Ohio with skilled objective at caring financial planners. All right, Miles, let's take a look at scoring first. For uh, Wasion, we see Jack Leatherman with uh, six, Tyson Rodriguez with eight, 
Elijah McLeod with seven, Landon Hines with two, Trey Parsons with three. For Patrick Henry, Lincoln Krieger with five, Gavin Jackson with two, Kane Rosebrook with two, Aiden Behrman with three, Nash Meyer leads him with five, and Mac Heber with three. So what are some halftime adjustments from the State Bank? Uh, Patrick Henry is going to have to push tempo. They're going to have to get secondary breaks involved. Uh, anytime an outlet and push, and if anyone stops you, try to tack to the rim. Get yourself to the middle of the lane because when this broke down into a half-court set, a lot of standing around offensively looking at each other, and Wasion loves to play half-court defense. They do a mm -hmm. great job of getting guys off of screens, communicating, and they have really stymied that Patrick Henry offense. And for uh, Wasion. Yeah, Wasion, if you would have told me that Hines would only have two points, I'd be amazed, right? Because he's been dominant inside, but it's been the offensive rebound variety. So get back to him. You can't rely on guys on the perimeter. Let him in great first half. You're going to be able to get that again in the second half, and Rodriguez is being able to create his own shot. You're going to have to get some work done on the inside. Uh, one other thing for uh, Patrick Henry, you just saw him walk by our broadcast position here. A Aiden Behrman yeah. needed some help by the trainer as he had to go into the uh, trainer's office on the Wasion side of the uh, court. So it'll be one thing as we uh, take a look at the second half of this one. Yeah, it does look like he's going to go, though, yeah. so they should be OK. Just, I think, retaped an ankle, I think, at most. So those are your halftime adjustments. And again, they are sponsored by the State Bank. Invested in Northwest and West Central Ohio with skilled objective and caring financial planners. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll be ready for second half action here from Wasion. Well, Wasion with the basketball as we begin the uh, second half here at the home of the Indians. Again, they lead this one by six on our Charles River scoreboard. Tyson Rodriguez is going to go inside, tough angle shot from behind the backboard. He's able to put that right up and in. Yeah, we were right there on it. Landon Johnson did everything he could defensively. A little horn set to get the back door with Rodriguez. Just rose over top of Johnson to get a great first start possession in the second half for Wasion. Biggest lead of the Indians now at 8, 28-20. Coming free off the screen, Landon Johnson. Johnson will get rid of it. Heber has it in the corner. Heber trying to get inside. Tough little runner, doesn't go. And a good rebound, tracked down near the corner by Jude Armstrong. Trey Parsons into the corner for Leatherman, didn't see anything. It's a good reversal. Hines and Rosengarten just going man on man inside. Instead, they go Parsons for the three. Now a great screen by Parsons. Better shot by Leatherman. And Patrick Henry snacking on danger here, down by 11. So Leatherman knocks down the triple for the Indians. It's now a double digit lead, thanks to the 5-0 start for Wasion. Heber thought about the three, turned it down. Instead, it's worked around. And Landon Johnson able to hit it. Oh, Landon Johnson, very presidential on that one. Big shot to get it back to eight. Keeps the Patriots in this one. Good kick out into the corner and the extra pass. Wasion works it around. Leatherman tried to get his second, didn't get it to go. Nash Meyer comes away with a miss. A tremendous effort defensively by Patrick Henry on the double. Meyer couldn't get it to go. Now foul's going to be called on the rebound. This is going to go on Patrick Henry. Yeah, but I liked it though. Didn't wait, didn't pull the ball back out and wait for Wasion to set up defensively. Attacked in transition after the rebound. Good double team on the defensive end when Hines had the ball in his hand. Don't be surprised if they try to get to the low block again. Patrick Henry tries to double again. Now one thing to look out for is that fouls the third on Drew Rosengarten. Indians with a basketball leading this one by eight. Rodriguez will give and go underneath the basket. Good shot, Jude Armstrong able to score for the first time tonight. A high basketball IQ, slipped a fake screen, went back door, good find. Armstrong gets himself on the board. For the second time tonight, the Indians lead this one by double digits. It's the entry pass inside. The turnaround using the left hand, Caden Rosebrook able to get in and score. If they can get the low block established, Keep pounding it. It's going to open up the perimeter game. 
because Wasiano will have to start sag on the shooters. Rodriguez with it, holds high. The screeners Parsons to Rod, or, I'm sorry, to uh, Armstrong. Now Hines double teamed at that low block. Make that a triple team. He's trying to find that extra guy. It's Rodriguez. Couldn't get the three to go. Rebounds tip. Indians keep it alive. What, what were you saying about outworking everyone? Absolutely. I was just going to say it. Wasian doing a great job. Unfortunately, they're going to get rung up on the charge. Right, we'll take a look at the replay here. It's Jude Armstrong. So explosive, so quick. I'm not sure that Caden Rosebrook was set. If we had the half circle, I'm pretty sure he's in it. That would have been it. tough, yeah. Also off to the side, and usually don't see the uh, offensive player called there, but yeah. it is a break for the Patriots. I don't think Jude thought it was. He got up smiling. It's his first foul tonight. First of the half, whistled against the Indians. Thomas Smith, a little rise and fire. Couldn't get it to go. The Indians make sure they're one and done. Yeah, good looking shot by Smith. A little early in the possession, but if you got a good shot, go ahead and take it. The entry pass, that one's going to be knocked away. Good defense down the low block. Landon Johnson will force the inbound. Good entry pass. That one's going to be knocked free. Now watch, watch Rodriguez. Got away with a travel here. Remember, you can only move on the baseline if it's a made shot. They gave it to him last time. He took two steps and threw it in. A better job by Armstrong staying in. Going with the lob that time, it's no good. The offensive rebound, Hines, get a second opportunity, doesn't get that one to go. And now, a second foul whistled against Jude Armstrong, and we could both read his lips on that one. I believe he said, no way, we're gonna see it. I think it was no way, we can't believe Hines misses this at point blank range, gotta make the bunny. Good rebound by Meyer, and then you see the left hand. Great job by Meyer, though. What did he do? He turned his body right, so then it looked like it was a reach by Armstrong. Now Armstrong turned his body away. You didn't see his face, but there was clearly a no way. Did not agree with that call. So two possessions, two fouls, and the Patriots with it. Quickly on our Charles River scoreboard. We're down nearing the three and a half minute mark of our third quarter. A little stutter step in the lane by Rosebrook. That's no good. The rebound grabbed by Wasian. They'll bring it into the front court with Jack Leatherman. Yeah, you see how stagnant Patrick Henry is onto the offensive end, though? One guy with the ball, four guys staring. They're going to get better movement on the offensive end. They're going to score some more points. This one thrown away, and this one's going to roll all the way out of bounds. So the Patriots will get it down to 310 left to go in the third quarter. You see the blackout, the Wasian student section trying to make some noise. They've come out in big numbers, too. A lot of students. Of course, we, you know, no school for a couple days. You might as well have the energy That's to come right. out. Want something to do. Yeah. Only do online homework so long, because I'm sure that's exactly what they've been doing. Yeah, well, I, I, no no, uh, Sorry, no I gaming even, going I on. I couldn't even get all the way through it without laughing. <laughs> There's Meyer with a basketball. Let's say that with the school official standing off to my left. And now a little stutter step in the lane. Again, though, one guy trying to attack, mm -hmm. four guys standing on the perimeter. Real easy to defend when everybody's just standing. So 250 and counting left to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Eight point lead for the Indians, down to 235 to go. Here in our third quarter, Leatherman. The entry pass inside, Hines. Hines, three defenders, hesitation, three guys, whatever, I'll just put it up and in. <laughs> Hines said, you've doubled me three times in this half and I've kicked it out each time. Nope, I'm gonna split all three and make it. A loose ball, that one's gonna be knocked free. Leatherman, eyes, the basket gets the finger roll. How about the pretty finger roll by Leatherman? Having himself a night lead up to 12. Patrick Henry, you're in trouble. Leatherman now with 11 points tonight. Here's Smith, turn around, banks it up and in. Oh, a little bit of smooch action off the backboard by Smith. Hey, they'll take it though. I'm not sure he called it, but they'll take it. Lead back down to 10. 
It's the entry pass off the fingertips of Hines and out of bounds. Take a look here. This is Leatherman coming right into your living room, a little styling and profiling the George Gervin-like finger roll to finish. Eyes stayed steady on the rim the entire time. Did you notice he got his feet going a little bit? I thought he was going to try and jam at home, but he thought otherwise. Always go good with the finger roll. Here's Mac Heber trying to get inside. That one is going to be deflected. We'll have a tie-up. Heber on the bottom of that pile. Arrow will stay with the Patriots. And they'll now inbound. Trying to find something, a little problems. That was going to be deflected. Trey Parsons will get one hand on it. Patch Henry moves from the baseline to the sideline. Absolutely impressed with the effort Wasion has given so far in this basketball game. Not the most talented team, but they're simply outworking Patrick Henry. So here's Lincoln Krieger. Krieger trying to go baseline. His runner runs all the way around, but doesn't go late foul. This one might be on the rebound. And I believe that's going to go on Landon Hines inside. That's going to be his third. He will sit down as Jude Armstrong checks back into the lineup. Now, if I'm Coach Chad Burke, though, I'm going to try and steal a couple minutes in the stop of the start of the fourth quarter with Hines out of the game. You don't want him to pick up that fourth no. early yeah. in that fourth quarter. Saw the three-point attempt there by Matt Heber. That was no good. Rebound was knocked out of bounds. So it's going to stay with Patrick Henry. It looks like a little housekeeping duty done by Tyson Rodriguez. He spotted something loose on the floor. He'll get it out of the way before we can continue. Here's Krieger. He's had a quiet night, but that'll get him going with a three-pointer. Uh, Lincoln Krieger averaging 13 points a game, 37% from behind the arc, 100% that time. He's got eight now on a couple of three-pointers. Indian lead down to seven, under a minute to go in the third quarter. It's such a quick release for Krieger also. Doesn't waste much time. Rise and fire, swish it. And a one shot opportunity here for Wasian. Something that they've done extremely well under Chad Burt, who by the way, hard to believe now in his 15th year, head coach of the Indians. Trails only his coach the all-time winningest coach here at La Cian. His coach, of course, Ken Burgai. The drive inside, it doesn't go. La Cian got the result they wanted. Yeah, Patrick Henry was in trouble. As soon as they allowed the high post entry right there, a little turn move. Rosebrook just a little bit tardy on the turn. Armstrong takes it to the rack, gets himself fouled. Armstrong with two points tonight, and it'll stay that way. As the first free throw, no good. It's been a struggle to say the uh, anything for Armstrong. 19 of 42 from the free throw line. And missed both of them there. Rebounds tipped, and we got a foul. And I think they're going to get Patrick Henry on a push. We'll stop plays, Hines will come back in. It's gonna be Thomas Smith, so that's gonna be his second. So now Hines in for the final four seconds of the quarter. They get it to him, and he gets it! What an inbound for the Indians! Well, how many times have you seen it, right? Big guy, fakes the screen, fakes the roll, and he's underneath the basket. Great pass by Armstrong to find Hines for easy two. Yeah, big play for the Indians. They'll take a nine point lead into the fourth quarter. 39-30, uh, Wasion with the lead over Patrick Henry. We told you in our State Bank pregame what was uh, on the line tonight. Patrick Henry trying to stay the last team left unbeaten. Delta in a dogfight with Swanton currently at halftime. Swanton was leading that one 20 to 15. Evergreen and Archibald also uh, battling tonight. That one will be a little bit late. Evergreen Archibald, JV, double overtime. Mm. The Miles Holiday <laughs> Special. 
Uh, what's better than one JV overtime? Two JV overtime. Good steal for Patch Kendrick to begin the fourth quarter. How about the left hand move there by Caden Rose? Well, we were kind of wondering off the break if Patrick Henry is going to wake up. They've been kind of listless, right? Well, maybe that steal and easy put in by Rosebrook is going to get them sparked. Baseline shots deflected back into the chest of Levelden. It's them out of bounds, so Patrick Henry forces the turnover. Now, Rosebrook fired up after the deflection. Easy bucket on the other end. Good defense on the defensive end. Rosebrook with the emphatic fist in the air. PH trying to cut into this lead, which is at 7, 7.20 counting to go. And our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River and Spencerville. And now Wasi on foul draws a little bit of the ire of Chad Burt. Yeah, the body language with the palms up and the shake in the head usually tells the official, I didn't enjoy that call. If there's anyone that knows how to work the officials, it's Chad Burt. See his... Uh, Another member of his family working the officials on the other uh, opposite sideline. So I want to say a special shout out to uh, Mr. Burt sitting down in the front row. Had the chance over the years to have many a conversation with the elder coach Burt. Krieger gets a little open space. That one off to the side. Thought he had a free and clear rebound instead. It's Leatherman who gets it. His turnaround from the blow block doesn't go. Hines with a rebound, and he's going to put it up and good. Now you better bring your man card into low post if you're going to go against Landon Hines. Hines, he's going to outwork you every single time. Krieger thought he had enough of the basketball to get a jump ball, but the officials didn't see it his way. Here's Mac Heber. He'll get rid of the basketball. Comes out, three-point attempt. That one's going to be long, and it's McLeod with the rebound. McLeod now double teamed, has to get rid of it. He'll find Rodriguez. Rodriguez had the ball pop loose. A little back tap, a couple of times there out of Krieger. It's Jeff Cunning, great pass, great finish. A better cut with a tremendous pass by Armstrong to find Leatherman. Leatherman now with 13, pushes that lead back to 11. Heber trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. We'll get rid of it, top of the key for Johnson. Johnson, dribble drive, too strong off the window, but Heber will track that one down. Heber tries to spin. His turnaround doesn't go. Finds to come away with it, and then runs into a clothesline and it's a foul on the Patriots. Yeah, another big rebound by Hines inside. Some one-on-one -on -one work by Heber. Partner, it, it seems like every offensive possession for Patrick Henry, that's what it breaks down to, like a one-on-one -on -one shot opportunity with a Wasion hand in the face. Got to credit Wasion. They've done just a tremendous job defensively staying in front of all of the Patrick Henry shooters tonight. Indians with a basketball and a double digit lead, Heber nearly had to steal. Indians with a man advantage right now, Leatherman three. Place would have just exploded, sure would. that would have gone in. Well, the guy over your left hand shoulder would have for sure. Heber gets down under the basket, gets the kick out to the corner. Krieger, little leaner, doesn't go. Little contact, wanted to call, but the Indians come off with a miss. And Chad Bird is gonna slow things up. He'll take a timeout. We'll step aside as well. Under five to go. Wasion trying to hold on to a double digit lead. 43 32. Wasion to lead over Patrick Henry here. 456 in counting. Left to go on our Charles River scoreboard. Indians taking advantage of one of their five timeouts. Talk about what to do holding on to this double digit lead in the final five minutes. That's going to allow Wasion to just drizzle, dribble around and pass it around. Let that clock work its way, eat some time, then get it inside. Patrick Henry tried a little run and trap at the top of this possession, but recognition by Wasion. Well, whatever two is, that's what Wasion's running. We got to hear it from Coach Burt five feet away. Leaky Krieger commits the foul as Hines was grabbed under the basket. Inbound comes in, McLeod with it. 
There's one Meyer, thought he had it pop free, but the Indians will maintain possession. Rodriguez just dribble around, takes it all the way to the basket, and he's gonna draw the foul, and he'll shoot a couple of free throws. Well, he's been sensational with the dribble tonight, hasn't he? He has been. Through the legs, behind the back, a little speed, a little hesitation. Tyson Rodriguez putting on a little dribbling clinic. So Rodriguez, who's in double digits with 10 tonight, shoot a couple of free throws here. First one will leave it a little short. Gavin Jackson back in the lineup for Patrick Henry as Landon Johnson will sit down. Now second one good, so Rodriguez splits the free throws, pushes that lead to an even dozen. Patriots really haven't been in this situation a lot this year. Nice job saving the basketball, Jude Armstrong. A lot of work to keep that in bounds, but it goes back over to the Patriots. Yeah, problem was he stepped on the out of bounds line so he couldn't be the first guy to touch it when it came back in, allowed Patrick Henry to keep possession. Matt Heber gets it into the corner, a little hesitation. Tough shot up and over Hines is good for Caden Rosebrook. How about the freshman using the left hand over top to senior? Well, his game is gonna just be exponentially better year after year. Leads, Patrick Henry. Leads down to 10. The Indians will now turn it over on that far sideline. So the Patriots have the opportunity here with 3.31 to go on our Charles River scoreboard. Make this single digit game. Yeah, definitely got to get it under 10 before three minutes is left on the clock. Don't waste too much time. Get it and go. Meyer along the baseline is going to draw the foul on the dribble drive. Yeah, it's one of those where you're gonna watch film tomorrow and you're gonna say, why did you go out and contest that pass? It was at 18 feet with his back to the basket, right? He's not gonna shoot it with his back to the basket. So just play behind him and then square up and play defense. Don't try to go for a steal there. Allowed Meyer an opportunity to turn it into a foul. I mean, the third foul on Jack Leatherman. Off the inbound, they work it around. And how about the three ball by Nash Meyer? And now a quick timeout taken by the Patriots. A timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well, down to three, 12 to go. The Indian lead is shrunk to seven. Lead down to 44-37 here in our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. We also want to tell you that the free WOSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more sports, more schools, more scores than WOSN. Search WOSN in the App Store, Android Play Store. Here's Leatherman going baseline, but he's gonna be called for the offensive foul. Now Leatherman has an opportunity to shoot the three right there, passes it up, a little pass fake, and then he's gonna come attack the basket. And they're gonna say Rosebrook is there to get the charge. You see the reaction of Chad Burt. He could not believe. But what a big play by Rosebrook for Patrick Henry. That is the fourth now on Leatherman. And there's one swatted back away as Nash Meyer had it. He's able to get it back now. He's going to be called for leaning that shoulder into the body. Uh, how about the student section absolutely losing their minds on this call? What a matchup right here. Meyer versus Leatherman. I'm gonna say a little push with a forearm by Meyer. Meyer can't believe it. Leatherman, the victim of the charge a moment ago. This time, he's the hero of the charge. Tyson Rodriguez pleading for some free throws. That is the seventh team foul on Patrick Henry. But the official very calmly on the baseline tells him that was the offensive foul. Player no, control, son. That's yeah. right, no, no free throws awarded. Inbound is knocked away, so Wasian will have to do it again after a second runs off the clock. Patrick Henry now three-quarter court pressure applied. Rodriguez will give it go with Hines. Pass a little bit off the mark. Hines needed a moment to gather himself in. Couldn't get the bucket, but he'll get a couple of free throw opportunities. I don't know if our microphone picked it up, but Hines yelled at the ball and won. He wanted to fall through. 
So Landon Hines, who has eight points tonight, steps up. And he'll make it nine as he hits the first free throw. Hines really good at the free throw line, 46 of 58 this year. That's uncharacteristic for a big guy also. Now usually back, big guys kind of struggle at the free throw line. Now Hines. A couple of big ones there. Makes it a nine point lead for the Indians on our Charles River scoreboard. Gavin Jackson trying to get all the way to the basket out to Nash Meyer. Meyer in the lane to the basket, underneath it, it's missed. Indians come away with it. Good ball movement here out of Wasion as they bring the ball into the front court. Quick hands by Lincoln Krieger, knock that out of the arms of Leatherman. They'll call a tie up. Arrow will favor the Patriots. Now Krieger kind of rips it free. Leatherman's got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. And I think that was a form across the, the lower solar plexus right there by Meyer. That's why Leatherman was grabbing his. They get him in the kisser? <laughs> it did not look like it was fun. Meyer should have covered him for the pin. Mac Heber under the basket. He's going to be double teamed. Gets the first one back as Hines swats that one away. The putback then hit the top of the backboard as we take a look at the replay. Now look at Hines carrying those fouls with him. Smart play. Just using the upper body to get a piece of that basketball. And they're fired up here in Wasion. McLeod's going to leave it underneath for Hines and puts it up and in. Well, I think they can start to celebrate this win. This is going to make the NWAL race a bunch of muddy horses running around. It's going to be interesting. The second half here, the final three weeks, as Patrick Henry will get a couple of free throws. So Landon Johnson, who's under 50% at the line, will shoot two with his team down 11. First one, nothing but Ned, good form on that one. Now substitution is Thomas Smith back into the lineup for the Patriots. And before the second one, a timeout taken by Wasion. It's a timeout, we'll take one as well. A second free throw for the Patriots coming up after this. Second free throw coming up here for the uh, Patriots as Wasion taking an opportunity to uh, talk about some uh, defensive plans. Well, number one, don't foul and get them to the free throw line. Let them score points when the clock is standing still. Right now, you're Wasi on. You want that clock ticking for the 10 point lead. If you're Patrick Henry, you got to think about who you want to foul as soon as the ball gets inbound. Second free throw, no good. High. Karam off the miss on the deflection. How about that move out of Elijah McLeod? McLeod's pass batted away, Thomas Smith with it. And now we'll hold on the other end and we're gonna see a one and one coming up here with a minute 13 to go. That's too bad because McLeod was absolutely ridiculous with the dribble between his legs to get himself free, but commits the turnover. And this place lost her mind. So here's Thomas Smith. He will knock down the front end of the one and one. Smith is a decent free throw shooter, 15 to 22. Gets a second, that one good as well. Lead still at eight, you see on our Charles River scoreboard. Now Wasia not out of the woods yet. Making those free throws keeps Patrick Henry with a glimmer of hope. See how much time Patrick Henry lets Wasion run off the clock before they choose to foul. I think they got to start fouling soon. Leatherman able to bring the ball into the front court, and now it is McLeod who will be fouled with just under a minute to go. Hey, here's my question, right? You have McLeod in the backcourt. You could have fouled him then. Why let the 10 seconds run off. You need possessions. You got to have possessions to get back in this basketball game. Don't let that clock run. Landon Johnson picks up his second foul. 
also the ninth on the Patriots. So here's the final one and one with Elijah McLeod, who's got four made free throws tonight at the line. And he will bury the first one. That looks like he enjoys the pressure moment right here. Five in a row, and they've been smooth. Second one airborne, that one is good. Ten points now is the Indian lead. 54 seconds and counting to go. Here's Meyer. He'll go baseline, going one on one with Hines. Hines will hold his ground. The Indians come away with the basketball. Patrick Henry looks a little confused on what they want to get done. Wasian still the ball in the backcourt. Wasian will take the quick timeout here. Yeah, Wasian calls timeout because they don't want to lose possession. Coach Burt looked like he was not happy with the spacing offensively as Patrick Henry was going to run and try to either trap or foul. And it's still a 10-point lead with 39.2 left, and they got a lot of timeouts that they can use, so go ahead and use one. Now Chad Burt, I think, had that internal clock if you're playing days for 10 seconds. So he knew it was running down, so he used the timeout. It's always the worst, right? You call the timeout because you're afraid of the 10 second. You're calling timeout as the pass is across the line. <laughs> Let's take a look at Miles said timeout situation. I unofficially have Wasion with a full in the 30. Patrick Henry, two fulls. You see the uh, little white marks there on our Charles River scoreboard. If you're new to us at WOSN or basketball, maybe just a casual fan, those are the timeout chicklets as we like to call them. No one from Patrick Henry stepping up yet. They might be conceding here. Yeah, I think you're right. Patrick Henry going to tip their hat to Wasian and say, hey, you guys want it, you deserve it, enjoy it. You outworked us, Wasian. What a win. So after a hiatus, as a PH win last year, snapped a 10-game losing streak to Wasian. Indians are going to get right back into the win column. They've extended the win streak to three in a row. We thought the most impressive win was last week against Rossford. It might be this one tonight. Final score, Wasion defeats Patrick Henry 50 to 40. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll be joined down on the court with our Miles Holiday when we return. Big win tonight for the Wasion Indians as they extend that win streak with a 50 to 40 win over the Patrick Henry Patriots. It's gonna create a little bit of chaos in the NWOAL and Miles Holiday with one of those chaos creators tonight. Uh, down here, Landon Hines, our hard work hero of the night. Landon, 12 points with 15 rebounds. It seemed like you had every single rebound. Uh, the intensity underneath the glass, was that something you knew you had to bring tonight? Uh, yeah, honestly. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tall guy, so it helps the rebounds a lot, and uh, I'm, that's my main job to get rebounds. So, yeah, you got night two and one in the league. Kind of a must win for you if you're going to stay in the league race. They were undefeated. What was the game plan defensively? You guys really limited them. Uh, we just really tried to stop Krieger because he's their main scorer, and we just had to box out and rebound over top of them because they're very athletic. Athletic indeed. You guys are now the league standings. You Huge game this past weekend at Ross. You look, of course, you guys got to win. Big win here. You got starting. I think we're playing really well. I think we still got another step to go, though. Yeah, talk about your guard play tonight. I thought they, guys like Rodriguez, even, even Elijah McLeod came in. Other you guys in the first half. How important were those guys for you? They're very important to the team because they run our offense and everything. They're just they're good, great at being in the ball with court, all everything. All right, congratulations. Last thing for you, half court shot. You want that basket or this basket? And furthermore, are you going to make it? We'll see. All right, here we go. Landon Hines, our uh, player of the game, half court shot. Oh, he's, oh. Congratulations. And you didn't kill anybody on the shot. Nice job, Landon Hines, player of the game. It's a big win for the Indians of Owasian, as we mentioned a couple of times through our night. That means that the uh, league champion in the NWOAL will have at least one league loss as Patrick Henry came in as the last team left unbeaten. So big win for Owasian. They improve to 10-7, uh, 3-1 in the NWOAL. Patrick Henry falls to 3-1 in the league, 13-3. 
overall. We want to thank everyone who made our night here at Wauseon possible. Starts with the athletic director, Mr. Matt Hutchinson. Can't thank Hutch enough for uh, everything he does, uh, both for us and for high school athletics in general. And, of course, our director tonight, Ken Reeker, as always. Make sure that uh, everything works the way it's supposed to. And our primary camera operator, Samantha Ryan, gets all of those shots. You saw all the action coming into your living room. That's all because of Sam and the work she does. So our final one more time, Wasion extends that winning streak. Indians get the win over Patrick Henry, 50 to 40. For my partner, Miles Holiday, and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.